I just woke up, if you can't tell. Is this a weird camera angle? I don't know. Anyways, I have a face mask on, kind of. I just woke up. I got inspired to make this video when I saw my little brother get a plastic cup, a plastic water bottle, and empty the plastic water bottle into the plastic cup, and then drink out of that when we have glass and reusable cups and also water from the fridge. That was just a lot of unnecessary plastic used. So it got me thinking about things that I do to try and help the environment, even though they're just little things. I truthfully think that every little thing matters. So I just wanted to make a quick little list of things that I do to help the environment. And hopefully this will inspire some of you guys to be more cautious of things that you do to help the environment, things that you do to harm the environment, and maybe it can help you change some bad habits to, to just help you be more aware, you know? So one of the first things that I do to help the environment is take public transportation. I take public transportation either like two to four times a week. I take a train down to go see my friends that live like an hour down south. Taking public transportation is a really good idea because it one, um, saves a lot of cars from being on the freeway. It has a lot more people in a smaller space. It can convey much more people in smaller spaces than individual cars. And since there's less cars on the freeway because you're taking public transportation, it helps reduce traffic, which also helps reduce air pollution because you are not using your car. You don't have to worry about traffic or anything like that. Um, I really like taking the train. Also, I think it's super convenient because I can get some work done on the train. The train is actually really nice. They have like outlets and stuff, so I can just really do whatever I need to. I never really thought that taking the train was like even a possibility or an option for me traveling but now that I actually do take it it's so nice and so much more convenient for me if you have public transportation around and you never really think about using it think about using it and see how it goes the second thing I do to help the environment is use good skincare products that are good for me and also the environment one brand that I love that is good for me as well as the environment is BioClarity who is actually sponsoring this video I'm using their little mask right now BioClarity is plant-based vegan cruelty-free gluten-free, all of that stuff, so it's good for me, as well as the environment. Because they're plant-based, as I mentioned, they don't have any super harmful chemicals in their products that harm the environment like a lot of other vegan companies do. BioClarity is not only green, but they are also clean. One way that I like to think of it is it's literally like drinking a green juice, but for your face, if that makes sense. BioClarity is also nice because they simplize my skincare routine a lot. You can buy packs of routines. For me, I have the cleanser, the Floralux, and then a moisturizer, and also this little pore mask. I have actually mentioned BioClarity in a pre- Oh my god. I have actually worked with BioClarity before, so that's why I'm really excited that they chose to sponsor me again. I also mentioned them in one of my previous skincare videos that was not sponsored. I talked about how much I genuinely really like their products, so when they reached out to me again, I was super excited. But yeah, their Floralux, which is basically just chlorophyll, that's one of my favorite products because it's green, it helps reduce redness because I have a lot of redness in my face. It helps repair acne damaged skin, it's healthy for you. It helps irritated skin and it overall just gives you a really healthy, nice glow. If you would like to go check out BioClarity, I will have a link down below. You can save 40% off your order currently and also an extra 15% if you use my code which is just Avery. So yeah, once again, link down below. Code is Avery. Thank you to BioClarity for sponsoring. Mwah. Peace and love. <laughs> the next thing I do to help the environment is use a reusable water bottle. I have been using this water bottle since like October, maybe. This is a Neptune bottle. This is one of my favorite water bottles. Um, this is Ryan Trahan's brand. He was gracious enough to send this to me. I use this every single day. I literally have maybe gone a few days without it if I'm like out of town or something. But overall, this has literally changed my life. When I was in school, I took this to school with me every single day. I literally take it everywhere with me and it is the best thing ever. All of my friends, Friends count on me to have water literally all the time because I always have this with me. 50 billion water bottles are used annually in the US, which costs 17 million barrels of crude oil. And I'm sure you guys have already seen, there have been so many videos surfacing all over the internet of plastic ending up in oceans and anywhere that it shouldn't belong, honestly. It ends up in landfills and oceans and even in animals. <laughs> plastic is overall super harmful for the environment, so the best way to help is to reduce your plastic intake, which reducing your water bottle intake is a great way to do that. So I encourage you to get a reusable water bottle. You can get super inexpensive ones from literally any store, or you can get one of these nicer ones that keep your water cool or anything like that. I think it's a really good investment. The next thing I do for the environment is eating vegetarian. I've been vegetarian for probably around three or four years now. Humans eat about 230 million tons of animals each year, which is twice as much as we did 30 years ago. We mostly breed and eat four different animals, so it's pigs, chickens, sheep, and um, 
cows. <laughs> so when we breed those animals and actually create that meat, we are using vast amounts of food and water to actually make that happen. All those animals also emit a lot of methane and other greenhouse gases. And that also produces tons of physical waste. So I'm not saying you have to go completely vegetarian or anything like that, but maybe just be more cautious about how many animal products you are consuming. Try and have a few vegetarian dinners every few weeks. I don't know. I believe vegetarianism and veganism is really great for the environment. I am not vegan. I wish I was, but that is just a lot for me to commit to. But overall, I try <laughs> my best. Next, um, one of my favorite things to do is donating clothes or reselling clothes. Please never, ever, ever throw away clothes. It all just ends up in landfills when someone else could have actually used that clothing. By donating your clothes, it can go to people who actually need it. It goes to thrift stores and other distribution centers where people can get it if they want it or they need it. But reselling your clothes on apps like Poshmark or Depop are a great way to make sure that your clothes actually go to someone else. Because even if you do donate your clothes and they go to a thrift store, say it doesn't sell, and then overall it goes to a bunch of different distribution centers, and then after that, it just eventually ends up in a landfill. I have a Depop, so if you would like to go follow me on Depop, my username is just Avery Oard. I am selling clothes all the time. I have a huge pile of clothes right now that I need to sell. It's all just stuff that I really like, but it's just not my style anymore. It's also a super great way to make money. You also don't have to have like a following to sell clothes whatsoever because people look up very specific things to buy. Keep that in mind. So next time you have a huge bag of clothes, please never throw it away. Donate it, resell it if you can. But yeah, I've been super into like sustainable fashion recently and just kind of the whole process of how making clothes works and just all of that sort of stuff. So if you'd like to see more videos about my journey, I guess, like learning about it and all that sort of stuff, let me know because I find it super interesting. Okay, two more things. My next one is buying secondhand or buying from more sustainable brands. This goes along with kind of the last thing that I was talking about, sustainable fashion. Buying things secondhand, which is basically like buying things from someone who is reselling what they already have, like through Depop or something like that, is so much better for the environment than buying from places like Forever 21, which is all just fast fashion. Hello? The fashion industry is very, very polluting. I've seen a lot of different like statistics about whether it's the second most polluting industry in the world or the third or even like the seventh. So I'm not gonna, I don't know exactly which one because I've seen a ton of different sources say different things, but overall every single source has said that it is very polluting and damaging to the environment. The textile dyeing and process, the textile dyeing, printing and finishing process can be super harmful to the environment. Companies that do that often use super harmful and poisonous chemicals such as mercury and lead. There's also a ton of other issues with the fast fashion industry such as um, working conditions with flow wages and all that other stuff. I don't want to get too into that because this video could be so long because like I said I've been researching this so much because I just find it so fascinating and I really truly never understood how polluting the fashion industry really was. One problem with like sustainable brands, which are brands that are just better and more cautious about how their clothes are made and stuff like that, is they're often super, super expensive. So I truly encourage you to buy secondhand from apps like Depop or Poshmark or even from thrift stores or stuff like that because you are not supporting those companies that just don't really care about the sustainability of their company and stuff like that. Just be more cautious next time you're shopping. And yeah, <laughs> last one. I don't know if I can truly say this, but my last one is kind of like educating people, I guess. I think education is power and with power, comes great responsibility and I think our responsibility as humans living on this earth is to make sure that the earth doesn't die. I believe that educating people on how to be better in a tasteful way is the best way to do it. I don't think shoving facts and beliefs down people's throat is going to help whatsoever. So I hope this video was somewhat educational. I did have a talk with my brother and my whole family actually about our plastic intake and just my thoughts on it and things that we can do to use less plastic and they all agreed. Hopefully that is something that will change among my household. I definitely think my brother was unaware of how his plastic intake could actually affect the earth. So now that he's more aware, I'm hoping that he will use less. I don't know, he's gone for the summer, but I know it will always be in the back of his mind. But yeah, that was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was somewhat educational. I have been wanting to make this video for a while and I mentioned it on my Instagram and a lot of you said that you would like to see it. <laughs> so here it is. Once again, thank you to BioClarity for sponsoring this video. I love them so much. They are truthfully so great. And you can use my code Avery. Use the link down below. You can get 40% off plus an extra 15% using my code. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go get ready now. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening and peace out. Mwah.